Today I am super excited. I've got two mystery boxes that I've been dying to open up. I got these in um, several days back actually while I was out of town and I'm finally getting around to recording some new videos. First one I'm doing are these two $100 comic book mystery boxes. So let's do this. Toy USA, which was originally just a Funko Pop mystery box company, started doing die cast like little cars and now they're doing comic book mystery boxes. Several weeks back, you saw me on this channel open up two $100 comic book mystery boxes and I pretty much hit the top comic available in that entire run of mystery boxes. It was the first appearance of Harley Quinn. And I'm actually going to be sending it off to be graded and hopefully it comes back with a super high grade because it'd be worth even more money. So these two were from the Toy USA series of, I think it was purely graded comic books, or at least I think maybe a graded comic in every box. So I'm hopefully my luck stays for this round of comic book mystery boxes because the first ones I opened up were fantastic. So I'm not good on comic book prices because I've been out of the comic book game since I was a youngin. So everything I'll have to look up, prices on eBay to kind of gauge how well I did because I honestly probably won't know. So as always, I guess not always, the second time they come double boxed with plenty of peanuts to protect the valuable comics inside. I know the first time I did the mystery boxes for comic books, I came out ahead, I think, on both boxes I purchased. One of the boxes, especially, way ahead. So hopefully, my luck continues with these two mystery boxes. <clears throat> Here we go. Open it up. Okay. Last time when I hit like the top hit, I had a letter on top that said, congratulations, you got a top five item. I don't know if they'll do it every single time or if that was just, just that one time. I don't know. You know, I kind of hope they don't do that because it kind of lets you know before you even look at your comic that you got if it's like a good, like, you know, like a top hit or not. It kind of let the mystery factor go a little bit longer. So I kind of hope they don't keep doing the paper on top telling you you got like the top hit or top five hits. You know, that just ruins the mystery factor for even opening up the package. So there is one graded comic in this. Let's see what I got. Very well packaged, like double bubble wrapped. Okay, so let me leave. Oh, I guess it's just one graded comics all you get in this. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. What is it? Oh, cool. Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, number one, from December of 1976, graded a freaking 9.6. That is a fantastic grade on this. Wow, I like it. I'm pretty sure this is probably worth more than what I paid. And I left my phone downstairs to look up prices, so uh, I'll be right back. So, got the handy dandy phone. Looks like the majority of these on eBay aren't, you know, listed as high as 9.6, but I'm just, I'm just going to tell you some prices. Uh, here's like an 8.5, which is a pretty bad grade, sold for 40 bucks. And let's see, here is a 9.8, which is just a step above mine, sold for 148. Here is a 9.6 for 110, which is my grade. And let's see, here is a 9.6 for 100, 9.4 for 77, 9.6 for 100. Here's a <laughs> one grade a seven, which is terrible, went for 20 bucks. So looking at some of these prices, here's a 9.2 for 100, 9.6 for 108. So it looks like, honestly, the value of this comic in a 9.6 condition 
is actually worth around $100 what I paid for the mystery box. So, um, not as viable as I thought it might be. I was hoping it'd be about, I, I figured maybe about $150 to $200 in that range. But if it was 9.8, then it would be like 150. But 9.6, it's probably about a hundred dollar comic. So at least I got my money back in the first box. Didn't make anything, but I got my value back. And like, I will be keeping this comic because I think it's ultra cool. Yeah, not for sale. Next, we got one more $100 mystery box. And what's even more fun is I actually have two more mystery boxes on the way right now from Toy USA. Two more, 100, or was it three? It might have been three, actually. Is there two or three? $100 mystery boxes, comic book mystery boxes on the way from Toy USA that I purchased from their last sale from just a few days ago. A week ago, some, something like that. But they should be shipping very shortly, hopefully. And there's that. So we've got one comic book in this box. I was thinking for some reason it was like four or five comic books. I know the first running comic book mystery boxes they did, there was four comics. So that's kind of why I figured there was more than one comic. But I don't remember, honestly, because I purchased these things you know, in the middle of March. So I don't really remember. I really hope they don't do this whole paper on top thing because, okay, so it's like right now, there's no paper on top of my bubble wrap telling me you got a top five hit. You know, it's cool, I guess, if you see that paper and you actually got a top five hit or the top hit, but if you didn't get one, you open it up, you automatically know you didn't get one of the best hits and it ruins the entire surprise mystery factor of the box, which just kind of stinks. So I would like to see them not do that anymore. Okay, try not to look at what comic book is in this, but they are all graded. Uh, hopefully I said it in the beginning of this video. I don't remember if I did or not, but this was a graded comic book mystery box. First layer, looking straight ahead, not looking down. And here we go with the second layer. Okay, I'm not sure which is the front, which is the back. I think this might be the back oh, I'm holding up. So here we go. The second and final $100 Toy USA comic book mystery box extravaganza. You ready? One, two, three. What do we get? The Man Thing, number one. From January 1974, graded an 8.5. So the greatest thing is not the best. It's actually from a company called CBCS, which is not as, I say, valuable as the CGC graded. Like this comic book is CGC. This one is CBCS, which still is a legit grading company, but it's not as well respected as CGC. The prices are not as high for these comics in these gradings. So let's see how much this thing's worth because I honestly have no idea if this is even worth what I paid. I'm just looking at eBay sold listings. Uh, looks like quite a few sellers are listing like non number ones as number ones, which is kind of irritating. Um, let's see. Oh, looks like this is also the second appearance of Howard the Duck <clears throat> I saw an eBay listing title. It says right here, okay, let me read this actually. This says the second appearance of Howard the Duck in this comic, and it is a Daredevil and Black Widow cameo. Okay. So we're looking at, here is an 8.5 sold for $81. Most of these actually aren't even graded. It has not been graded. You're looking at between 20 the $40 in that range. There's really not a whole lot of these that have been graded. Here is a 9.2, which is much higher than this. So for 187, literally there's like only like a couple that have been graded and sold on eBay. So that's very, very hard to gauge estimation on this thing. And this grade with CGC was 81. So CBCS may be like 70 to $80 in that range. So mystery box number two, 
I did not get a comic back in value of what I paid. So that stinks. But I don't think I'm going to be keeping this comic because I don't really know much about the man thing. But this one I think is ultra cool. This Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number one from December 1976, graded a very high 9.6. So this one I'm super happy about. Super, like, love this one. Awesome. That's what I got. So be on the lookout. I'll be having another comic book mystery box opening, hopefully within the next week or two. So that should be fun. It's either two or three. I can't remember how many I bought. It's either two or three. Something like that. So stay tuned. I'll be back very, very soon with more comic book mystery boxes. If you like these kinds of videos, these kind of mystery boxes, give me a huge thumbs up below. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you think. So make sure you check out my prior comic book mystery box unboxing that I did, and you'll see me hit a huge key comic of the first appearance of Harley Quinn. Make sure you check that one out. I'll see you soon, and I'm out.